Hey guys, this is Vishal from Edireka and I welcome you all to today's session. Today we are going to discuss two of the most talked about tools in the business intelligence and data visualization market. Yes, I'm referring to Power BI and Tableau. But before we get into the details of these two tools, let's quickly take a look at today's agenda like we always do in all of my sessions. Well, I would be discussing these two tools based on these parameters that is visualization, cost of ownership, integration, data management and finally functional comparison. Now for functional comparison, I've again jotted down few parameters and we would be discussing these two tools based on those parameters as well. So let's not waste any time and get started with this discussion then. Visualization. Well, it completely boils down to your preference. So let us take a look at these two tools one by one. First we have Power BI. Now if you're looking for something called as custom visuals, then Power BI is a clear winner. Why? Because it has opened up its SDK for visualization and that has given you more custom visuals. Plus it has great drag and drop features. It has good data import capabilities. That is why if you're looking for custom visuals any days Power BI is a winner here. As far as Tableau is concerned, it gives you pure visualization. If you're somebody who likes the curated approach or more clean sleek kind of an approach, you can always go for Tableau. Why is that? Because it would give you great drill down features. It would give you amazing visualizations. So as far as visualization is concerned, yes, if you ask me for my opinion, I would say Tableau is a clear winner. Here. Next we have cost. So when you take a look at cost, we have to consider something called as initial cost. Now, if you ask about initial costs, Power BI wins. Why? Because it is way cheaper compared to Tableau. If you compare its desktop user cost, if you compare its web user cost, server node, Power BI is a winner here. But then this is not the only cost you should take into consideration. When you talk about business intelligence, you have to consider other costs, costs that can be considered on the longer run. So are there any other parameters which we can consider for the longer run cost? Yes, definitely. And if you compare those parameters like labor costs, total cost of delivery and all those things. Uh, this is where I feel Tableau is or has little more edge compared to Power BI. Why? Because on the longer run, when you compare its labor costs, its total usage cost and all those things, even though your initial cost is more, Tableau gives you more affordable kind of a software when you look at from the longer run perspective or the total cost of ownership perspective. So if you ask me for my opinion again, I would be choosing the longer run thing and for now, Tableau is a winner here as well. Third on this list, we have integration. Now integration again, it kind of boils down to perspective like the visualization factor did. This is because these two serve completely different functionalities. If you take a look at Power BI, it gives you great integration capabilities. How it acts more like a Swiss army knife. That is it readily integrates with various other tools. Now it's a Microsoft product and there are various other Microsoft products in the market that various businesses use. And since Power BI lets you integrate with these two tools, it kind of has an edge over Tableau because it can integrate with various tools like you have reporting services, Excel, SharePoint and all those things. So all in all, when you talk about integration capabilities, yes, Power BI gives you a lot more options. Tableau on the other hand, it takes in more of a scalable kind of an approach or a surgeon like approach where if you're dealing with a particular defined kind of a problem or you need more curated kind of an approach then you should go for Tableau which gives you sleek and clean visualizations. But if your main aim is integration. Yes, Tableau is a great tool, but Power BI has to win here. So if you ask me for my vote, yes, it would go for Power BI definitely. Next we have something called as data management. Now when you talk about data management, you have to talk about data shaping, data modeling, data analytics and all those things. Let's take a look at those one by one data shaping Power BI great Tableau. It's good, but Power BI it's great. Why it has something called as query editor that uses M language and basically it lets you do so many things with ease and you do not have to worry about switching into Excel every now and then because your Power BI kind of takes care of it there and there. So yes, it does help you. And if you ask about Tableau, even the people who use Tableau would complain saying that there's too much to and flow between Excel and Tableau. If there was a solution for it, it would have been much better. So when you talk about data shipping, Power BI wins. Data modeling, again, Power BI has to win your why. DAX, Power Pivot, and that SQL framework basically which it has definitely gives it an edge when you talk about data modeling. Analytics, again, Power BI. Why? Because Power BI is very fast. Yes, 
it does not have as clean and curated approach as tableau but overall data management if you ask for my vote any day power bi next on this list we have something called as functional parameters so what are those parameters well these are few of the parameters which i have gone ahead and jotted down we have the year of establishment now tableau had a great head start here because it started 10 years prior to power bi but power bi is kind of catching up but if you talk about overall organizational approach for a data visualization tool tableau has more experience compared to power bi but power bi is definitely catching up applications now as i've already mentioned custom visualizations or more open source approach is what you're looking for power bi is your thing more curated and clean approach tableau so if you need something like custom visuals dashboards you can go for power bi ad hoc analysis and longer run operations related to data visualization tableau users well as far as my personal experience is concerned tableau is a little difficult to learn when you compare it with power bi power bi is much easier to learn and it is for the wider applications given the integration capabilities it has but that is a personal opinion i don't want you to jump into that because people who have used more tableau might find tableau easier to use so that kind of boils down to your preference really if you ask me i like power bi more when you talk about ease of use i have had varying opinions for people as well so you are the best judge and you are the one to decide on those things support tableau wins here clearly it has better support compared to power bi scalability good power bi is good but tableau is great if you talk about applications on the longer run better scaling tableau has to win here infrastructure again both take a completely different approach your power bi gives you saas kind of an approach which is software as a service whereas tableau gives you more flexible kind of an approach where you're free to like or not free but more flexible kind of an approach basically so these are the parameters i felt that we should have discussed there are quite a few other parameters where these two tools can be compared and as i've already mentioned that these two tools are very neck and neck or very close to each other these are two of the most talked about tools or the hottest tools when you talk about business intelligence and it would be unfair to say this is a clear winner or that is a clear winner it actually boils down to your preference the best way for you to decide is to go ahead and use both of these two tools those are readily available to you and very easy to learn so you can pick those and decide it on your own which tool is good for you or great for you and that would also depend on the problem statements which you have or which you need to solve as far as this video is concerned i just wanted to give you a picture as in how do these two tools fare based on these parameters i hope you all have liked this video and i hope to see you all again as far as this video goes this is where we end this session thank you bye bye i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!